Hello, hello everybody. Oh my goodness. Nope, that's not the right screen that I'm trying to click on. It would be nice if for once I was actually prepared when I switch over my screen so I don't look like a dumbass. Oh my god. Give me one second. <laughs> I'm trying to do the little pop-out chat so it makes it a little bit easier for me to read stuff when I'm streaming. And I forgot to do that. Welcome in everybody. Thank you all so much for joining me today. I really appreciate you guys stopping by. Happy Sunday. If I look a little bit more Puerto Rican than usual, as in more tan, it's because I spent some time outside today trying to get some yard work done. Uh, I only got a quarter of my yard work done with my mower before my two batteries decided to die out on me. So tomorrow, uh, hopefully I can get another quarter done. <laughs> and then within the next coming days, probably get the other half done. But uh, yes, welcome in. Shazak, how are you? Uh, I gather that uh, it seems like you might be gone for a week. Is that what you mean? Visner Card, Chaos Chain, Joker, welcome in. Hello, T Army. Shock and Topsy, what's good? 
Long time no see, Dave. Listen, Dave, are you ever planning on going, coming back to streaming or are you just done? Because I've been keeping an eye out and I have not seen you stream at all. Uh, guys, is the sound for the music too loud or do I need to turn it down some more? Because I kind of want to have a little bit like background music, background noise while we talk. I'm trying to do something a little bit different today. We are going to be streaming um, Little Hope in a bit, but I wanted to start off the stream with just like a just chatting section, uh, try to get some networking in, uh, Twitch advice, a little mental health here and there. Um, so yeah, I think it would be a good idea to start it off that way. You stream like three times in the last six months. Life is constantly changing. Just doing my thing for now, but thank you. Well, let me know when your next one is and I'll try to stop by. Yeah, because I've been trying to keep an eye out. And like I said, I have not seen you all. I'm like, I'm trying to keep on going in there, but. Um, yeah, so um, as far as streaming and everything, again, if the music is too loud, please let me know. I'll adjust it. I will turn it down right now. It seems like my voice is much higher than the music, so. You are at work. Well, T Army, I hope that your work day goes by quickly and you can go home to more fun things. Majulis, how are you? Welcome in, welcome in. So I'd like to start off with saying if you are a streamer and you're in my channel right now, let me know what you stream, when you stream, and what your Twitch goals are. Um, I had a little interview in Asby's channel day before yesterday. Um, and we were talking about Twitch growth and things like that and how to network and how to make achievable goals and things like that. And they, I was asked there, well, what were my Twitch goals? And eventually, absolutely, I would love to make partner. If it happens, that would be great. If it doesn't happen, I'm still absolutely enjoying the journey that we're currently having right now on Twitch and meeting new people. Everybody's been uh awesome and those that haven't you know bye felicia you know what they say <laughs> oh dang you have five hours left oh my goodness i hope it goes by quickly because you know especially if you don't like your job uh yeah i i personally have not had a job that i very much like to my knowledge <laughs> happy happy sunday everybody so yes right now uh i'm trying to take it into small chunks as far as what I want to do um, for my Twitch goals. And right now, uh, we've been fluctuating between like 25 and 30 average. Um, some days I've been getting a little bit higher than others. Let me take a look and see what I'm at right now. I want to say we were at 25. We did go down a little. Let me take a look. Right now, where the hell are my analytics? Where did they go? Oh, so no. Uh, so yeah, so we are at 27.16. Um, yes, and SB asked me, so what are my current goals and where I want to be at the moment on Twitch? And, you know, just trying to take it little chunks at a time because I feel like a lot of the times when we do want to make partner, we want to make that big old jump from your little three average to get affiliate to immediately get to 75. And that's so daunting. It's such a big jump. And whenever you don't see yourself progressing to hit nearly that 75, we get discouraged a lot of the times. So it's like right now, my goal is by the end of next month, to be sitting at around 35 average, which I think is achievable, little chunks, goals that uh, we can actually reach to, not the 75, you know? Starfini, how are you, my dear? Welcome in, welcome in. Uh, you just, uh, you don't even watch my numbers. Um, so I, as far as me, when I actually stream, I, I turn off my, um, my viewer count. I've said that many, many times. I think that having your view account opens does a lot more damage than good in the long term, especially if you're streaming and in the middle of the stream, you somehow see a dip in numbers and things like that. It can change your attitude for the worse because then all of a sudden you start feeling like you're doing something wrong or you don't understand why people are leaving and things like that. And 
I think that change of attitude that you're feeling all that disappointment and whatnot will come across when you're streaming. So I only look at my numbers after I hit end, I finish my stream, and then I get the Twitch report at the end that tells me um, basically how my stream did. Other than that, I try not to look at it for that reason. Oh my gosh, it's so freaking hot in here. So if I'm pounding down water, that's why. Um, I'm still reeling in from doing yard work in the heat of Florida, but uh, <laughs> I'm glad you're doing well, Starfany. Any plans for this lovely Sunday? Um, as far as us, um, we are continuing to try to grow our Discord. Uh, we just surpassed 300 members and continuing to grow every single day, which is the plan. I'm trying to get to know new people, network as much as possible. Guys, if I don't reach your, your stream right away, give me a chance. I'm, I'm like following like 1,100 people right now. I did a cleanup for people that had not streamed in longer than uh, four months. A lot of the people that I started off with on Twitch no longer stream. So I removed all of those. Um, if they come back to streaming, then for sure I will go ahead and follow back. But uh, right now, trying to focus on the people that are currently active to try to help each other out. So, ICG, thank you so much for the alert. So get the hell out of here. Damn. We're trying to be nice here, encouraging, and Zoe's coming up. Go to the corner, Zoe. Go to the corner, Zoe. Damn. <laughs> it's like I was gaining like two, three followers a stream before I went to the hospital. Yeah, so um, I'm trying to use different avenues to get into networking. Mikey, good morning. So I'm good writing more and maybe streaming. Yeah, Star Funny, I will definitely be keeping eye, an eye out for your book. If you guys don't know, Star Funny is an author. She said, yeah, I think you said you were working on your third book, right? Um, and from the, what she was explaining yesterday, it seems like it's right up my alley, the kind of the kind of books that I would actually be reading. Listen, yes, Zoe, I am kicking you out. Don't not work with Zoe. Don't follow him. Don't even look at his channel. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I love you, Zoe. <laughs> he just comes up in here every single time to troll me. He comes to my Discord to troll me, so I have to troll him back. It's the way that it is. <laughs> I haven't started streaming back yet. I'm busy. Yeah, I had taken a, a four-month break because of work. I've never mentioned this before. I came back a couple of months ago um, because it was the same issue where I was working 50 to 55 hours a week. I was getting called in on my days off. I never knew when I was actually going to be working because I never really had a set schedule. So that really kind of affected how I was able to stream. And then when I did try streaming during those weeks, I was just fucking exhausted. I didn't have any energy at all. It came across on stream. I'm tired. I want to go to bed. I want to sleep. I, I don't want to even do chores. <laughs> so, you know, Sir Roller, they asked, right? Yeah, he's deaf. He's, he's that was a troll. He's all straight up a troll. We met at a once upon a time um, mutual Discord and we bonded over the fact that we're both uh, deaf. <laughs> He's he's nearly deaf and so am I. So oh my goodness. Um, mm. yes, just have to do the ending of the third book, which I'm hoping to have it done today. Fuck yes, Starfunny, that is awesome. That is so freaking awesome. JC, how are you? Welcome in. And JC, if I'm saying your name wrong, please let me know because I feel like I'm saying it wrong. You know, and I don't want to be butchering anybody's name here. And yes, uh, I 100% I agree. This is why I also have Fiji, who trolls me. I also have Kat, who trolls me, and uh, Kat's mod. Uh, and that's, I wouldn't have made her a mod if she didn't troll. You know, we gotta, we gotta feed off of each other's energy <laughs> on that for sure. But so I wouldn't say you're essential. I don't know about that. I don't know about that. I don't know about that. But yes, uh, let me know what you guys stream. When you stream, what are your goals for Twitch? I think it's important to have goals. Listen, I'm being nice and even giving you a shout out. So don't even, don't even come here with that. Look at that. He playing. He playing Apex Legends. I told y'all, don't follow him. I don't even know why I'm shouting him out. He's mean to me. <laughs> Hello, hello, Alpha Wolf. How are you? We are doing a little bit of socializing here. Doing some shout outs for everybody. 
doing a little bit of networking for the day. Oh, sure, sure. You keep thinking that. You keep thinking that, Zelda. You're my favorite. Not really. Not really. He knows I love him. I wouldn't mess with him otherwise. Now, uh, no, that everybody who has a position of power in my Discord and in my streams likes to troll. There you go. So, yes, everybody, everybody that's here, if you stream, this is including everybody, tell me what you stream, when you stream, and what are your Twitch goals. So what I want to know. I'll give you a shout out. Your only goal right now is to hit affiliate? Yeah, let's go. If you start streaming again, let me know when, and I will try my best to make it there. If you guys have not joined the Discord, please do so. Um, right now, we are trying to help a couple of people in the Discord to also make affiliate. Um, you don't, Stephanie says she doesn't have any goals right now, just trying to have fun. Uh, you know, having fun, I would take that as a goal, for sure. For sure. There you go, sorry, funny. Miss Author. Ooh, playing God of War. Jedi of Color. Welcome in, welcome in. Of course, of course. Today, yeah, we're taking the time to, to network, to know each other out. You're going to try to stream tomorrow? Around what time? I don't know what time zone you're in. You stream mostly Valorant? So it's TR me. Uh, Alpha says, well, I reached 300 followers, but I need to uh, think of a new goal. Visna, welcome in, my dear. Thank you so much for the 200 biddies. How are you feeling, love? I know that you had COVID and you were saying that your, your, um, your fever was finally going down and you were going to go back to work. Yeah, I, I've had COVID twice and it freaking sucked. Both times, bedridden, shriveled up in a corner. You know, I, I don't do well with COVID. Yeah, so it's, yeah, I mean, yeah, let me know what time tomorrow and I'll try to make it because I think, I think you're not in the same time zone as I am. I'm an EST. <laughs> Thank you for the fart. I don't know why my sound alerts on this screen don't work. So you'll see it pop up. Actually, let me, let me see if I can disable those sound alerts for this one. I don't want anybody wasting their, their points on on it when it's not working at the moment so alpha wolf now that you said that you just reached 300 um followers and now you're thinking of setting a new goal so when i have follower goals i take it 100 at a time so it i would always do if you go back to my video logs i do celebrations of every hundred so if i was from 700 to 800 we're doing an 800 follower celebration then the next goal is 900 and so forth um nikki how are you my love thank you so much for stopping by i appreciate the tab while you're working thank you thank you mwah, mwah. if you guys don't know nikki please go ahead and check them out they're absolutely amazing and even coming in here when they're working uh see i want to say because like when i first saw the name nikki larson i also thought the same thing that it, it sounded really familiar and I think that might have been like the name of an actor or an, or a singer at some point. You're better now. I'm glad to hear, my love. Glad to hear. If I haven't given you a shout out yet, uh, let me know. I'm going to do a different shout out for Visner. Not only for being amazing and doing the biddies, but when I do a manual shout out, it actually shows what they play. Jedi says, I got a second job, so between that certifications and working, I don't have much time for Twitch. My goal is to be consistent again. So, yes, um, having a schedule for Twitch is so ridiculously important. But if you're in the situation where because you have two jobs, you know, you have a family, you have personal things outside of Twitch that are keeping you from streaming as consistently as you would like, just to try to even get an hour here or there so that people still know that you're active is really important, especially if you have subs. Because the worst thing, in my opinion, is to know that you're trying to support a particular streamer and you're subbing to their channel and they're streaming like once a month, once every three months. 
So even if it's like once a week and you're at least trying to do, you know, an hour here or there, it shows that you're at least trying to be present so that people don't forget that you're there. Um, that's what ended up happening with me. I was gone for four months. For the whole four months, I wasn't able to stream. And it was an uphill climb again from where I was, basically starting from scratch, averaging two or three again when I was hitting 30, 40. You know what I mean? So now we're trying to do that upwards climb again, try to stay consistent. Even if I'm busy, I'm, I'm trying to keep to a schedule. I'm adding extra days here and there, but for the most part, you'll see me here Wednesdays, Fridays, Saturdays, and Sundays, always starting at 11 a.m. EST. If I have things going on in the morning, no later than noon EST. And we try to do a minimum of three hours when I stream, um, just to give people a chance to come in, socialize so that we're here, you know, the whole nine yards. Chico Loco, yes, I'm so sorry that the fart didn't work on this on this screen but welcome in my dear welcome in let me give you a shout out Chico loco so let me see oh you heard the fire uh, maybe as my sound is a little too low okay then if you guys can hear it in the screen then that's fine I'll, I'll keep them enabled I don't even think the disabling thing on this worked uh, Nikki oh Nikki was playing straight I've seen People play that game and it is on my very long list to do. It looks so freaking cute. It is right up my alley. I have two cats. I And then the main cat looks like my um, my Lily. She's a little orange cat. Measureless says, I stream Mondays and Fridays with an in real life every other week. I play Warzone, Fall Guys, Fortnite, Apex, DVD. My goals are... Uh, to just enjoy interacting with people in my stream and partner uh, will come if it happens. Hell yeah, Measureless. That is a nice selection of games. I, for one, play two of them uh, from the ones that you mentioned, which is DVD and Fall Guys. Um, if you would ever like to play with me, let me know on Epic as well as Dead by Daylight, my... Screen name is exactly the same as here, E-G-R-I-K-K-U. I'm always looking for people to play with, so if you are into that, please let me know. I love playing with viewers. If there's any more than what a lobby holds, I do rotations and queues, so everybody gets a chance to play. And Visner Karn was last seen playing Dead by Daylight. I know, I saw you playing Dead by Daylight last night. Uh, Jace, it's yes, JC still hasn't told me if I'm saying his name wrong. I'm just gonna call him Jay. That's what I've been calling him when we're live. Candy, how are you? Welcome in. Welcome in. How are you doing today? Let me give you a shout out. Let me know what you play, when you stream, and what are your Twitch goals? That is, that is the, um, the agenda for today. You have a full-time job? Yeah. I'm trying to catch up with chat. I'm not making sure that I pay attention to everybody, so I'm scrolling through. Scrolling through. Not much. Ain't modern at the moment. Uh, might get to go to the beach later? Hell yeah, Chico. I haven't been to the beach in ages. I think it's been three years. Three years. And I live in Florida, which is crazy. Um, last time we went to Day Daytona Beach, which is a little bit of an over two-hour drive. So I leave it like the middle of Florida. So no matter where I go, I have to go either east or west to reach the beach. And it's a minimum of two hours each way. Cause I live, like I said, smack down in the middle. You went 16 days without streaming. See, but 16 days is not as much as I did in freaking four months, man. I lost so much support and so many followers cause I was gone for so long. So now I'm in like on that uphill climb to try to rebuild and get back to where we were you know so leave it surely it'll happen it'll happen and so your finalicious self <laughs> my schedule is tight i have work uh help my family edit for youtube and stream sus t army yeah this is why um not everybody can make twitch as a career and that, you know that's fine right now i'm dedicating as much time as i can on it because 
with everything that's going on in my personal life and health wise and things like that i have not been able to find another job it my availability might change a little bit i did put a couple of applications in if i'm accepted then i will be working um longer hours but i'm definitely going to make sure that i don't do the same thing that i did last time and try to stay consistent as possible with streaming because i really enjoy this and the reasons why i got into twitch in the first place still could are the same reasons why I want to stay in it now. Um, it happened during COVID. It was last year in February. I actually started streaming the day after my birthday. And um, yeah, I just came to the realization that when I moved from Massachusetts, the friends that I had were work friends and things like that. And now they're across state. And it's really difficult to make friends when you move to a completely different location and you don't know anybody there. And I wasn't exactly making any work friends or anything like that. So I was like, you know what? Let's try a streaming platform at least. Even though I can be super awkward, we can gonna have something in common to talk about because if there is some random game out there that most people have never heard about, I bet you there's at least two or three people that have heard of it and play with it and are fans. So <laughs> you can always at least have that in common. Yes, if I have not given you a shout out, please let me know. I'm, I'm, I'm catching up slowly but surely. Slowly but surely. You got your stream pad working? I've always seen one of those, but I haven't. I have no idea how to set it up, if I'm getting completely honest. Of course, Chico Loco, you're very welcome. You want to play Stray 2, Candy says? It, it looks really adorable. I honestly feel like it would be, like I said, right up my alley. Furion, how are you? I'm finally getting to your message. I'm so sorry. I'm getting in there. If anybody else is coming in just now and you are trying to catch up and figure out what's going on, we are doing a little bit of networking, mental health, a little bit of everything. So if you're a streamer, tell me what, your stream, uh, what you like to stream, your streaming hours, and what are your Twitch goals. You have DVD. T Army, if you have DVD, yes, we need to play. Ah, so freaking lootly. And Kennedy was last seen playing PubBook Battlegrounds? I've never heard of that. Is that a strategy game? Had a toxic survivor in my ghost face hunt. Oh, Bizner. See, more often than not, when I'm paired up against Ghostface, Ghostface is the one that's toxic. I cannot tell you how many times Ghostface has taken me to the hatch. And just, just giving me all oh, waiting off for the hatch where it gives me a little bit of hope that I can make it. And then I'm about to go through the hatch and then close the hatch on my face and teabag me. I'm just saying. That's, uh, that's, that's usually how it goes when I'm going against Ghostface. <laughs> he accused of tunneling and camping. Oh my god. You know, a lot of killers have been tunneling and camping. If you see some of my video logs for the past three days, that's all they've been doing. I had a daddy trickster hook me and just keep throwing knives at my corpse over and over and over. And I'm like, really? Really? I mean, at the end of the day, it is what it is. I play DVD and other games for fun, not to be elite ranking red rank or anything like that. So a lot of the times I, I like playing with new players. It doesn't bother me at all. Uh, you said, yeah, Florida is where it's from. What you mean, Chico? What you mean? Fiji Rosa Sosa Sora. Sleepy Fiji Rosa Sosa Sora. I'm catching up. I'm not ignoring anyone, I swear. I'm just I'm just making sure that everybody gets their attention. And I'm not skipping any messages, so I'm I'm going through. Jay Shep, how are you? Welcome in. Thank you so much for stopping by. How are you doing today? Tell me all what you stream, when you stream, and what your Twitch goals are. That's what I want to know. That's the name of the game today. Candy says, I only play Pug, uh, FG, GTA, uh, Left 4 Dead. Ooh, Left 4 Dead is good. I haven't played Left 4 Dead 2 in ages, but I had so much fun. Um, we used to do way back when, before I even got into streaming, uh, this was like... Damn. And now I feel old because it was longer than 10 years ago. Ooh. Yes, it was longer than 10 years ago. We used to do um, custom lobbies and stuff like that. Or we would do random two-player, three-player, four-player. 
um, with some of my friends back when I was in college and stuff. Oh, it was a lot of fun. I used to like playing um, the special infected and then just break carnage on my friends. <laughs> It's like, I love just chatting streams too. My stream goal is to have 15 viewers by Christmas. It is hard to get viewers, Candy, And this is exactly why we're doing this. This is an opportunity for everybody to get to know everybody. So if you guys are not following Candy, go ahead and check them out. Um, they are doing their Twitch goals of 15 average by Christmas. Hell yeah. We can, if I can help you get there, I'm definitely going to go ahead and try. I think there's room for, for everybody to grow. And we can grow together. That's the name of the game. I just posted again the link to our Discord. Feel free to check us out. I am planning. I used to do Feature Streamer of the Hour uh, every Wednesday. I took it off because um, a lot of people were busy with work and things like that. And then the schedule wasn't working. So now what I'm thinking of doing, instead of having people request uh, featured streamer of the hour, it's not a raid train. What it is, is that I would pick a day from noon to eight o'clock at night. And on the hour, every hour, I would give special shout outs for people that, told, that would tell me that they were gonna be streaming during X and Y time. So you don't need to raid at the end of your, of your hour or whatever. It's nothing like that. It's just something that I do to help increase numbers for people to get extra exposure and stuff like that. So I will do shout outs on the Discord. I will do shout outs on Facebook and things like that so that to get extra people to come in and support you and get to know you. So now what I'm thinking of doing, I am thinking of bringing Feature Streamer at the Hour back, but instead of having it a schedule where people are telling me when they're on, I'm just gonna go myself and see who on the Discord is currently live and shout them out from there. I'll just ask, you know, are you going to be streaming for an extra hour or so? And then um, do it that way. So that way there's not like that pressure of like, oh my gosh, I need to make sure that I'm on at this time or whatever because I'm supposed to be featured or anything like that. I think that might be a better direction to take it. Um, and then if someone is live, just go ahead and, and push that out there, help people get their goals for sure. And Fury's been playing Crash and Derby. Ooh, lots of games that I haven't heard of before. Fury on sign, that's okay. Take your time. All good with me just chilling with Nikki and playing Fall Guys. Hell yes! Guys, swear to me, Jesus. If you want me to play Fall Guys and DVZ and you guys don't add me, I'm going to rage quit. Okay. Okay. I just love playing with people. So much fun. Especially Fall Guys. We've been doing um, squads. And um, Fiji up in here is always telling me how um, if he loses, it's because everybody else is cheating. That's what he says. Chico Loco, Chemical, thank you so much for my 25 pities. Welcome in, welcome in. Chico says, I am a mobile streamer at the moment. So you're gonna have to educate me on that because I, I, okay, I've gotten like offers and stuff like that telling me to stream mobile games. I have no idea how the hell to do that. How do you, how do you stream a mobile game? I don't know. I, I feel derpy. I'll feel derpy noting, knowing this. Candy says it's a battle royale. Yes, yes it is. I do love horror games. I absolutely love horror games. I am a huge fan. Um, after our little just chatting networking session today, we are going to be playing the other half of Little Hope. Uh, we got, I was told that I was near the ending of it yesterday, but it seems like I'm still missing a whole lot for it to be in the ending. I've only gotten like one scene where one person may have possibly died. So I'm not entirely sure. You do have to play aggressively for sure. <laughs> he has no speed for Ghostface. Yeah. Yeah. You run into a few knife tricksters. But, you know, the thing about trickster, I don't know. I usually run towards him instead of away. It's bad. And my hair is like, I, I see my hair freaking growing right now. Um, I had to take a shower. Um, and it's like, all poofy right now right after um i did the yard so now it's like everywhere oh goodness gracious it's not my curls oh damn yeah they're they're my curls are everywhere but yeah hold on fiji was last seeing play alien isolation i have not seen a whole lot of people play that i've seen little bits and pieces of that but it looks interesting 
Core Games is jump, jump scares is a lot of fun. Oh my god. Jay, yes. Daddy, thank you so much for the follow, my love. I appreciate you. Mwah, mwah. Welcome to the community. I love horror games. So, little hope. Here's the thing. I've explained this, and I know that I've been screaming like crazy when we've been playing that and having a lot of jump scares. It's not so much that what I'm seeing is scary, is the sounds. Because my headset, I've mentioned this before, I'm 50% deaf on both ears. So, my headset is cranked up. And you know how these how these things are so loud. There's it's cranked cranked up to 80. So whenever it does the sounds of a jump scare and it's just like Ding! that shit is so loud, it startles me because you'll be in a in a portion of the game where everything's nice and quiet and you're just like minding your own damn business, walking around, and eh, there's fog. And then the sound pops up and it sounds like it's behind you, and you're like, oh my god. <laughs> so it's it's more the sound more than anything. But uh, at least like that's that's what I like to say to myself. J Shop's been doing just chatting streams. Nice, nice. Candy says, I thought Outlast is a good game for a jump scare. I've seen bits and pieces of Outlast as well. My list of game is so damn long. I have to get too wet, man. But I, I definitely want to finish the dark, dark pictures anthologies because I'm having so much fun with them. I'm trying to platinum it. We streamed Man of Madame and as well as the Man of Madame curator version. And both versions were amazing. Absolutely love them. Uh, I'm trying to do a two player version of it because for whatever reason, they have it set that you can't platinum it unless you play two player, which to me is super silly because it's not based on your own efforts. You have to find somebody else to play. And it's not cross console. So it makes it a little iffy in order to be able to finish it. Chico says, you were talking about the beach and stuff. Also, you say something about Florida. I meant to say, oh, okay. <laughs> I was like, what you mean? Something, something about Florida. Yeah, I'm in Ocala. So I'm in Horse County, Marion County, which is the biggest county in Florida. And um, I'm a little salty because I was surrounded by trees. One of, one of the reasons I got the house that I'm living in right now is because the lot behind me, the lot next to me, all around me was all trees. It was secluded lots that were hadn't been purchased. And in the last year, every single lot around my house has been purchased and the trees bulldozed. Now, my neighbor's lovely window faces directly into my window. So I have no privacy. So we are saving up for the tallest privacy fence that money can buy. <laughs> I don't like that. I don't feel comfortable um, being in my house and looking over to the side and seeing my neighbor like staring dead ass at me. I'm like, what do you want? Why are you staring at me? Fucking creeper. <laughs> but it happens a lot. So one of, besides the sun coming in, this is one of the reasons why I got this. And like there is supposed to be blackout windows, but it's not. You can see at the bottom. You can still see the sun come through. So I have like another extra quilt in the back of it to, to cover it up so that the sun doesn't come in. Because then, then this seemed too. the neighbor would be staring at me straight through the damn window. And I'm like, what are you doing? Stop staring at me. It's creepy. Tiami says, I also stream Among Us. Uh, going to start back streaming Horizon Forbidden West. Plans on streaming Rainbow Six. Extraction eventually. I plan on trying to join a pro team and start making money to help my family. Hell yeah, T Army. Um, I haven't played Among Us in a really long time. I used to do community nights back on the Discord, but then nobody would show up for community night for gaming, so I had to take it off. <laughs> uh, Among Us is one of those games that you have to play with friends. I I don't feel comfortable playing it with people that I don't know, especially when you have to get in comms and and argue about why you're not lying. So it makes me feel a little bit uncomfortable to play with people that I don't know. Jay Shop says, just, I'm just at work. Well, I hope your work day goes by quickly, my dear. Absolutely, absolutely. I'm trying to make sure that I'm not missing anybody here. Hold on. Ah, Lazar, thank you for the rose. I appreciate you. And oh my goodness, I'm so far behind on chat. Hold on. Let me give a shout out to Cam. Thank you, thank you, thank you. 
yeah, so if you guys don't know Kem, uh, I, I've got him, I would like to think that I got him into the Dark Pictures Anthology series, and he's been playing it as well. Um, we have been neck and neck on what portions of the games we've been finishing. So I will end up finishing one section, he does the same section, and then we switch back. He does the next section, and I haven't done it, so we're going back and forth. Um, I love seeing the Dark Pictures Anthology um, games for gameplay because depending on what choices you make, he's gotten completely different cutscenes than I've gotten in five playthroughs of Man Up and Down. So that game with the replayability, it's freaking awesome. Jay says, just been grinding on Fall Guys. I need to get back on Fall Guys because uh, I want some costumes. That's all. That's the only reason I want to get back on Fall Guys. I want some costumes. I don't like that I don't have any costumes on Fall Guys right now. T Army, yes, let me know. If anybody else would like to join uh, and add me, I'm posting my information for DVD. You should be able to pull me up with just typing in EG Riku, but if it doesn't pop up, it's uh, E G R I K K U and then hashtag B10E. I do have a, uh, a, no, I don't have an iPhone. I have a Samsung phone. I have a, uh, what is it? Note 20, I think it is. Is what I have? I don't know what the hell I have. It's, it's a Samsung phone. It's an Android. Um, almost close to winning a couple of times. I, okay. So yesterday I was doing clips for my 12 hour stream, which is the very first time that I ever streamed and played Fall Guys. The very first time that I played Fall Guys, first time ever, fresh, downloaded, made a new character. I won the whole thing on my first try. Don't ask me how that happened. I will say it was beginner's luck and we're gonna keep it at that. <laughs> oh my goodness. Nikki, thank you so much for the look, my dear. I appreciate it. That's one of the ones that they do spam knives. Yeah, Trickster always likes to spam knives. And then you have uh, Huntress with her with her hatchet across the damn map. Bolt, welcome in. How are you? If I know that I'm trying to catch up with chat because I want to make sure that I don't leave any messages behind. Welcome in. If you stream, tell me what you stream, when you stream, and what are your Twitch goals? That is the name of the day today. Candy says, um, I hate the knocking jump scare. I don't know why, but I don't like it. So if I play in the living room and I'm not wearing my headset and you have those loud jump scares, my dog gets so upset because he hates knocking. He will go, I, I have to have a sign on my front door that says, please do not knock on the door because he will lose his shit straight up he will lose his shit he doesn't like it he doesn't like it don't do it it's like you will hate phasmophobia i get jump scares uh, a lot on those so i've seen a lot of people play phasmo and uh, i've mentioned this before i feel like phasmo is just a repeat of how old are you where are you are you friendly show me a sign <laughs> I can't do that. That's just not for me. Phasmophobia wasn't fun when I streamed it. You never encountered anything in this county. Oh my goodness. Ch Chico. Yes, he was. Yes, he was. And not know how you doing. So, okay. I have a really big bay window in the dining room area. So it goes bay window, I have my dining table, right? And then the door there leads to my bedroom, like the master bedroom. So you can clearly see across the window because it's so large into the master if the door is open. So I'm in there on my mat, got my music on, eh, I'm doing my yoga. I look over and there's like three freaking construction guys staring into my damn master. I'm like, get the hell out of here. I'm slamming the door. I'm like, are you serious right now? Yeah, damn creepers. They are nosy. They are nosy. I'm like, this is why I picked this house because I didn't have, I didn't have all this that's going on right now. I want my privacy. Y'all are creepy. 
Don't be looking at my damn master bedroom. What's wrong with you? We don't like that. And see, now that I'm catching up here, of course, uh, I said Kem was uh, streaming. He was streaming this last night. It was the Little Hope Dark Pictures Anthology. Father Dork, welcome in, my love. How are you? I'm so behind on chat. I'm just making sure that I don't miss anybody's messages. So I'm slowly but surely getting down the line. How are you this morning, my dear? If you don't know Father Dork, they are an amazing person. Super, super supported. Lovely streamer. If you guys don't know him, please go ahead and check them out. Everybody that's coming in, name of the game today. Tell me what you stream, when you stream, and what are your Twitch goals? Uh, only not even neighbors if you're in a public place and a restaurant they be nosy too. Yes, they are. Yes, they are. People be nosy. People be nosy. All the damn time. Chico says that's cool that I'm at Broward County. Broward County. Is that near Seminole? I want to say it's near Seminole, isn't it? Seminole County? I want to play Dark Pictures one day. Candy, do it. Do it. Oh my god. If you do... Let me freaking know because I love watching. I love watching Dark Anthology. I am planning on streaming um, House of Ashes as well, which is the third installation of Dark Pictures Anthology. And then there's supposed to be a um, fourth one coming out in October, I believe. And the plan is to definitely stream all of it because I'm having so much fun with it. It says, uh, I usually play with two other, so I can definitely get you in for, for what? For dark pictures? Or for what game are you referring to, T-Army? I have way too many games too, Caddy. The, the, the candy, I'm sorry. Um, the list just keeps growing because every single time I go into a new streamer's page and they're, they're streaming something different that I haven't seen, I'm like, checklist, I want to add this. <laughs> I have not done multiverse yet. Listen, multiverse to me, and I don't want to offend anybody, but it just seems like a cheap ripoff of Smash Brothers Melee. Like, downright to the attacks, to how you get hit and jump off the ledge, and how you get back. It looks exactly, exactly like Smash Brothers. How they're not getting sued for copyright infringement, I have no idea. <laughs> You're right, I had a neighbor watching me dancing with the kids in the living room. Oh my, oh my God, no. No, like literally if I'm going from one section to the house, uh, of the house to the next, and I just like catch a glimpse, you know, on my peripheral vision of my neighbors, I'm literally walking like this. I don't want to lock eyes with you, that's freaking weird i'm in my house i'm trying to relax like damn <laughs> my brothers play that and they didn't like it yeah yeah because i feel like it's it's kind of it's kind of exactly like smash brothers you'll send me the instructions if i'm on android yeah let me know chico and chemical regine say something in spanish Ay, Dios mío. Chemical, muchísimas gracias por todo, por venir aquí. Espero que te esté gustando mucho los juegos de Dark Pictures Anthology. Y vamos a ver si sales con todos los sobrevivientes, los cinco, sobreviviendo al final del juego. There you go. <laughs> Chupapi, what the fuck? <laughs> oh my god. Bolt was last seen playing. Call of Duty Warzone. Hell yeah. Mizuki, how are you? Oh my goodness. I am so sorry. How am I so far behind? I need to I need to hustle. Mizuki. I've known Mizuki for ages now. Lovely, lovely streamer. Fan of all things ninja. Go ahead and check her out. As I said, everybody, let me know what you stream, when you stream, and what are your Twitch goals. Zeno, spare life. Welcome in. Welcome in. I'm trying to catch up. Oh my goodness. I'm trying to catch up. Holy shit. Okay. Damn. Okay, we're talking about a dog. Not okay. That was a really long time ago. My dogs are like that too. 
uh, any knocking and my dog will start and then the second dog will bark. Because so the first one is, yes, yes, I have two dogs. And if one starts barking, the other one doesn't even know what's going on, but they're going to bark too. They just want to bark in unison, you know? And I ask you that. Don't say that to the girls. Oh my gosh. Uh, the same with my pop. Anytime someone knock on the door, she would bark so much. That's Mizuki. Yeah, something about doors. I just don't like it. Hey, uh, ghost name. You are a boss to come at me, bro. Oh my gosh. <laughs> you also got saucy with ghost. No one phasmophobia. We have a lot of fun. We troll our friend raging popcorn to get him killed. Oh my goodness. TR me. I saw a couple of people playing phasmo. And that was the one and only time I found it funny was that one of them hid in the closet because the ghost was coming. And then the other teammate was coming in trying to get into the closet so that they wouldn't get killed. And then the other player was like locking the door and preventing him from coming in. And I'm like, damn, you got, you got a bad teammate. Oh my god, Fiji, Rosaso Sasore. What you gotta say now, Fiji? What you gotta say now? Damn. Father Dork's been seeing a plague in Cult of the Lamb. Somebody told me it's a cute game, but it doesn't sound like a cute game. It sounds like a horror game. Y'all need to explain to me what Cult of the Lamb is. Fiji, Batalekina. Batalekina, Fiji. Ay, Dios mío. Yeah, I'll. I am doing amazing, Father Dork. Just taking this, taking the day to to network and get to know people, and yeah, that's what we're doing. That's the name of the game, vibing today for sure. <laughs> we're in the same time zone. You're in EST as well, T Army. See you, no spare light, my dear. How are you doing today? I hope you're doing absolutely amazing. No, Fiji, it is a cheap ripoff, and you're not going to convince me otherwise. It is absolutely a, a cheap ripoff. Y'all couldn't come with a different engine than copying exactly what, what Smash Brothers is? Damn. How did you level up? So, Chemical, the way that the level up system works is by how long you've actually been watching the stream for. Um, I think it gives you points for every five minutes. And then for every five minutes intervals that you, you've you actually typed something in chat, it gives you extra points and that's how you level up on, on the stream. So that's how it pops up. It's it's something for, for WiseBot that comes up. Uh, I wanna try Madison too. What What's Madison? Y'all are telling me about all these games that I don't know about. Nicktoons Brawl, so you got, I'm gonna get sued too. I am so, I am far behind. I'm trying. I'm trying. Fiji, damn. Damn, Fiji. I'm trying. Playing Lost Judgment. You know, Sparelight. What is that? Y'all need to tell me what all these games are. Faz is better with Freds. Yeah, especially when you control them. No, I'm not getting closer, Fiji. Go to the corner. Go to the corner. Cult of the Lamb is so good, but what is it? <laughs> It's a roguelike base building game, says Visner. Kim says, if you don't mind asking your chat a question, um, buy one more, buy anyone, have a spare laptop or PC they don't use, buy it from you, just need to one stream labs and stuff. So Chemical wants to know if anybody has a PC or laptop that they're not using, Chemical's looking to buy. So if you are in the business of trying to sell a laptop or a computer, hit him up. Hit him up. Cult of the Lamb is basically a land that starts that starts a cult. You go through and kill other cultists in a sort of arcade beat em up style game. And then you go to your base and build your cult. Oh my god. That... That sounds... That sounds really funny, actually. <laughs> I just don't know how you go and you're going around killing people and it's funny and it's cute. I don't see how that's cute. King, how are you? Welcome in. I'm so far behind and I'm finally catching up with with chat. I tried my best. I didn't want to. I didn't want to let any of of the messages in chat go past me because I don't want to make anybody feel like they were being ignored. So here we are looking at everything. We read everything. We've caught up. 
I should look up some screenshots. Oh my goodness. Hold on. Let me let me look it up. Cult of the Lamb. Cult of the Lamb. What is this? What the fuck? <laughs> the first picture that I saw is a lamb character getting burned at the stake. Oh my goodness. Well now, uh, hmm, it was a little bloody, but it does look kind of funny. <laughs> Key Mikaitis was seeing playing WWE 2K22. I was actually in the stream yesterday. So if you all don't know King, go ahead and check him out. Kevin says it looks pretty fun. Not gonna lie, graphics are cartoony, not detailed. <laughs> it's adorable and creepy at the same time, which is your favorite. Oh my god, what is the name of? There was a game that you were in different factions and there was a princess that ate a lot of cake and she got really fat and the and they were like oh we need to get the princess to lose weight and then they let i can't remember what it was called but it was so funny if i can if i can look it up and i'll let y'all know king mal thank you so much for being here i appreciate you Y'all, let me know what you stream, when you stream, and what your Twitch goals are. Rogue Ram- uh, Rogue Cambo. Ooh, you got me. I said Rogue Rambo. How you doing today? Welcome in, my dear. Welcome in. I hope you're doing amazing. All right, so let's see. King Mel was last seen playing Call of Duty Warzone. And Rogue were seen playing Black Ops Cold War. Hell yeah. Commentate. Huge fan of hand-drawn assets. They add a lot to the games. Yeah, I, I do like me some cartoony games. Let me take a look. What is it called? Was it? Princess. Cake. Cartoony. Killing game. Oh my god. This is like if if go <gasps> Wow. Okay. It actually worked. I freaking Googled Princess Cake Cartoony Killing Game. And can you believe Google's like I got you? <laughs> it was called Fat Princess. You guys ever play that? Oh, that shoot was so funny. It was really cartoony. And then the the goal of it was to bring king to your princess and you get her all fat oh my god that's so funny i and then it was so gory too but it was the cutest freaking game i love playing it uh i'm like two states over from you t army <laughs> call of duty call of... yeah see it you're meeting all sorts of new people that play the same games as you. Take this time to talk to each other, exchange information, then get yourself a new play buddy. How are you, King Mel? Thank you so very, very much for being here. I really, really appreciate it. If you guys have popped in and I have not given you a shout out, please let me know. Uh, I'm not sure if I've missed anybody. I don't think I have, but just in case, let me know and I'll go ahead and give you guys uh, a shout out. Oh my goodness. Yes, Fat Princess was freaking amazing. T Army, well, thank you very, very much for stopping by. I really, really appreciate it. I hope that you enjoy the rest of your day. And when you start streaming again, let me know. I want to catch up. I want to catch up. Oh, and the PSP, Fat Princess, Fistful of Cake. So, Visitor, I haven't played uh, that one. I used to play the original Fat Princess, and it was, I want to say, it was, I played it on PC, on Steam, if I'm not mistaken. I think it was on Steam. <laughs> Studley, how are you? Good morning, good morning. How are you doing today? So, for all of you that don't know, Studley is a streamer. And they've also been streaming some of the Dark Anthology Pictures games. So I'm telling you, I'm starting a trend with Dark Anthology. 
Uh, so he was playing um, Man of Medan, and unfortunately I had to go to bed, but I did go back and check his video log, and it was so funny because he was so surprised when certain characters ended up dying. <laughs> it's kind of what happened to me. I was doing really, really well, and then got almost to the end of the game, and then eh, people died left and right. PS3 and PSP. Yeah, it might have been PS3 then, because I do have I do have a PS3. It was full of meme lights. Yes, it was. All right, Candy, enjoy your lunch, my dear. Thank you so much for stopping by. Much, much appreciated. Uh, Zito's Paralyzed as Last Judgment is an action adventure detective game that is developed by Ryuga Gotoku and published by Sega. It is an early, amazing, and exciting game. It's about a former lawyer, uh, now turned freelance detective, who now finds himself in another job assignment that goes far deeper than even the first throughout and closer to the people in the government than he suspected. Ooh, interesting. Um, I did play Elle Noir, which is a detective game, and that was really good. And I also played um, Heavy Rain. If you guys haven't played Heavy Rain, that is a hell of a game. It was the first game of its kind that played out like a movie and it just set a freaking precedence for everything that came after like games like uh, Dark Anthology. They did such a good job and when it first came out people thought it, Heavy Rain was gonna flop and I'm like that game style looks freaking amazing and I guarantee you that's just gonna be a hit. Yeah it might have been PS3 because I, like, I did have a PS3. Lost Judgment was great oh my goodness. Yes, I also got you to play Fall Guys. Oh, yeah. Hell yeah. Look at that. Uh, there is a PS4 version. Well, that's the thing. I've had PS1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. Xbox, Xbox Series, X, Xbox 360. I've had them pretty much all. Viz likes to, oh, I, I like the old games, too. They're just a little bit hard to stream, and I feel like a lot of the times for the vintage games, even though I really enjoy them, a lot of people don't watch them anymore for some reason. Eleanor and Heavy Rain were freaking great. So Eleanor, I kind of had a little bit mixed feelings about it because I thought that the first half until you make it to um, the homicide department was really good. And then it just kind of trailed off from there. The second half after you got taken off of uh, homicide kind of went a little bit downhill for me, but it was still good. Detroit Become Human. I've seen some bits and pieces of Detroit Become Human. Um, I have not personally played it, but it does look like it would be the kind of...